Hi everybody from Teclons and welcome to this dedicated focus on the gaming capabilities for what concern this HTC Butterfly S. Well, as you, as you already saw, here I have even the case I just want to, wanted to give you a quick look to, you know, a possible case for this HTC Butterfly S. This is an S-Line case, it's nothing but TPU material, so it's very good, good grip. It's not uh, easy to find, you know, case for this HTC Butterfly S, uh, you know, especially here in Europe and in Italy. And it's not even easy to find plastic film like this horrible one that I just could apply to this device. But there's nothing better than this right now, so I had to order a new one from Hong Kong. Hopefully waiting for it to arrive. Well, let's go on with the focus on the gaming capabilities and let's start with Beach Buggy Blades. So as many of you already know, Beach Buggy Blades was made by Vector Unit and was, you know, uh, at the beginning was just made for showcasing the Tegra 3 hardware platform. Later on was porting on any other platform and right now it's running on this great HTC Butterfly S which I remind you having just let me show you first of all, sorry, a quick parenthesis. We have here the higher resolution possible for this for this game setup. Okay, let's start playing. So I was telling you that this HTC Butterfly S actually it's running on the Snapdragon 600 architecture, clock at 1.9 gigahertz with 2 gigabyte of RAM. So actually it's one of the fastest architecture on the market if we you know keep aside the sony xperia z ultra which is not officially out yet in, in europe although some you know online shops already sell it well as you can see the game is running very very good as as usual it's not perfect on any other hardware platform but the tega 3 because we have here and there some few starting, I mean, nothing dramatic, but there are some starting here and there. And it's really, really incredible for such a powerful hardware platform. But this, I guess, has nothing to do with the hardware platform itself. It's just the optimization, which is not perfect on the other hardware platform which are not the Tegra 3 or Tegra 4 of course which is not out yet but for the new Nvidia console the Nvidia Shield so this is the Beach Buggy Blitz let's go on the next one it's Riptide GP2 another game made by Vector Unit this one has such a wonderful graphic, let me tell you. And just let me show you that I've already set up the graphical details to the maximum possible level. Even, you know, here is higher resolution, advanced settings. I cannot set up this shader complexity more than medium on this device, nor the scene complexity more than high. But I've, you know, already set up everything that I could to the maximum level possible. So let's see how does this game behave on this great HTC Butterfly S, which let me remind you sports uh, a five inches display, full HD display. It's a gorgeous display, both for you know color reproduction, brightness, and color saturation is really great display. Sharp, it's full HD, uh, almost 440 pixel per inch so it's a marvelous display so here the game is starting as you can see it's extremely fast here and there we have some starting but as I told you the graphic details are set to the maximum possible level even for what concerns shader complexity we have here medium settings which is quite high at least for this hardware platform. I guess maybe we will have a better result on the Snapdragon 800 architecture or even the Tegra 4 family. Wow. 
I mean we have some starting here there but there's nothing dramatic here game is really really enjoyable oh oh sorry I'm resuming game yes okay so I was telling you that there's nothing dramatic here some starting here and there but it's almost you know normal on any other Android device that I could try this game on I mean I'm talking about I hand devices of course like S4 or I don't know Xperia Z Ultra or um, sorry Xperia Z not Xperia Z Ultra of course HTC One I'm talking then about high hand devices of course so this is Riptide GP2 then let's start Need for Speed Most Wanted Another game that I was not, you know, able to see running perfectly, I mean perfectly of course, on any Android device, but on the um, Galaxy Note 2. But, you know, maybe we we should consider that the Galaxy Note 2 had, a, you know, quite a lower resolution, just HD resolution and not full HD resolution like on these HTC Butterfly S. Even this game, usually at least on Android devices, of course, here and there has some stuttering that's not perfectly, perfectly smooth. Once more, like in Riptide GP2, as you see here, you know, it loses some frame, but no, loses some frame, sorry, but you know, nothing dramatic. Like as I was telling you on GP2, this is nothing you know to be worried about. The game remains perfectly playable, enjoyable, no kind of problem, of course. Just you know, maybe you would expect you know having a perfect, perfectly running game with such powerful hardware architecture, which is not the case. Let's oops so as you can see the graphic details are very high very high texture details as well as you know uh, cars shape uh, car shape it's very very high detailed so it's a very good looking game indeed don't know maybe this one too we will be able to see it perfectly running on the Snapdragon 800 architecture let's hope for this <laughs> sorry I was out of the camera You know, sometimes when you start playing such a good looking game, you really lose your uh, point of view and you start, you know, just playing and don't minding at the, the camera at all. Sorry, guys. So, this was Need for Speed Most Wanted. Okay, so let's see another very good looking game for what concerned racing games, which is We Are Racing Free. I guess. All of you already know this game it's a very good looking game great graphics almost by farm monkeys the same you know developer studio for Need for Speed Most Wanted so we have very high details graphic too here and as for Need for Speed Most Wanted this game too is not perfectly smooth on any Android device Okay. Let's perform first race. Firm. Okay, this is our Silva. Silvia, sorry. Okay, let's proceed with the Suzuka circuit. 
as you will see in a few seconds we will have the some kind of roster preview before starting game and on the preview you will see that the graphic is not perfectly smooth here while you know in a few seconds here we go you see some stuttering here and there nothing dramatic but maybe you know I would expect more from this device as well as for any other high-end devices I could try this game on like the Galaxy S4 I mean I'm talking about GT i9505 which has the same hardware architecture Snapdragon 600 clock at 1.9 gigahertz and 2 gigabyte of RAM although on the Galaxy S4 we have DDR3 and not DDR2 memory but just let me tell you that ahead of making a comparison this device seems to you know steal few frames from the HTC One and just be on par with the Galaxy S4 for what concern frame rating in in games of course so it's very very good device although as all other high-hand devices I could try some of these games on some of these games like for instance Real Racing 3 or Need for Speed Most Wanted or Pitch Buggy Blades just don't run perfectly smooth on these devices which means that they are not terrible they are not unplayable they're just not perfectly smooth which means sometimes even rarely but sometimes they do stutter a little bit okay once more here I'm losing the camera point of view sorry okay this was real racing 3 let's go on with the that trigger made by Matt Finger you know we are still waiting for the that trigger 2 which should you know support wonderful graphic details I mean as you will see in a few seconds these games already have very good graphic details but we should expect even better graphic details from that trigger 2 you know it ought to be released on July but don't know why Matt Finger delay the release of that trigger too so let's hope we won't have to wait so much more as usual we have a small starting here just around the corner normal any Android device I tried this game on at the same kind of starter in the same point of this map don't know why but that's it Okay, this is that trigger too. As you can see the game, it's incredibly fast, no problem. Very good graphic and insanely fast, I would say. So this was that trigger too. So we can go on with another Mad Finger game, which is Shadow Gun Dead Zone, which is nothing but the multiplayer edition of Shadow Gun. You know, it's some kind of trend happening right now on the Android uh, Play Store. Uh, some developer studio release uh, new games and they are just multiplayer games like this one, Shadowgun Dead Zone, or even the next game that I will show you in a few seconds, which is uh, Blitz Brigade, Brigade, sorry, which is a very good looking game made by Gameloft and it's nothing but a multiplayer game. So let's wait for the authentication of this game. Just to give you the idea that I already set up the graphic details to ultra high. Very, very nice graphic indeed for this Shadow and that's on as you will see in a few seconds. I do remind you that this game is a um, multi-platform game, which means that you can play together with your friends having an iPad or an iPhone or iPod Touch or don't know what other iOS device and 
and which is even more interesting it does support on Android even you know gamepad which is a very nice 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 things especially for these kind of game okay there this is a pity there are not so many Android games that support the uh, gamepad although the gamepad at least the USB gamepad is, is starkly supported by Android since ICS uh, you know we I'm not considering honeycomb because it was just the first tablet release but the gamepad was already supported just to be fair on honeycomb I'm really terrible in playing this game especially oops without the gamepad so bear with me for my performances uh, okay this was uh, Shadowgun Dead Zone on the HTC Butterfly S now as I told you let's let's see Blitz Brigade which is really interesting it does remind me of uh, you know some of you already knows maybe the game from Valve which was oh cannot remember the name right now which was ooh, oh god sorry guys I don't remember the name anyway it was uh, a game made by Valve and was a very good looking game just multiplayer game of course it does remind me that game because it has the same kind of cartoon graphics but here we can even use uh, vehicles like you know um, Jeep or that kind of stuff okay we have several you know gaming mode this is this should be some kind of capture the flag Okay. Let's start the game. As you can see, the graphic details is very high, extremely fluid. You shall consider that we are actually playing online. Not, you know, quite a big map. Not huge, but not small at all. Let's see if we can capture the enemy flag. Okay. Oh, oh. let's get back into the game so this one is another very good looking game made by Gameloft and you know I don't know if we can use this game using a gamepad but knowing Gameloft I guess that we just cannot but you know I will try what is this Okay, let's see if we can capture the enemy flag once more. Uh oh. I don't know what I just pick up. What are they? Oh. Hmm. This is not the best weapon for... Okay, sorry guys, I'm not that good in... Oh, we even have a helicopter. This is really interesting. So this is Blitz Brigade. Very good looking game. Sorry for my 
very poor performance but I haven't been you know able to play this game for for too much time just played twice maybe so the last game I want to show you is Vitro Tennis this game is perfectly does perfectly support the USB gamepad of course and it's quite good looking game although not one of, one of the best nowadays but very good and moreover it does you know run very very smoothly on our devices especially the high-hand devices but not that much problem in running even on lower spec devices okay as you can see the game has no kind of problem the graphic details is quite good Oh, oh, my fault, sorry guys. Just the last point. Oh, not a good match tonight. So, that's all for what concerned this uh, dedicated focus on the HTC Butterfly S performances just to recap this is a very very good device for playing games great you know display great screen great performances I would say it's on par with the Galaxy S4 it has of course the same hardware architecture so it does gain few frames on the HTC one for what concern is the biggest focus on the HTC Butterfly S. That's all. Once more, thanks for watching and bye from Technost.